How to build your running body from the ground up and why. We can change everything with a little gait analysis, some diagnosis, and a little bit of prescription. What is running but a bunch of a series of one-legged squats connected with the flight phase? Here at last weekend's Women's 3000 Indoor National Championship, you see Laura Thweet going into a squat of 126 degrees. Right behind her, you see Jordan Say at 149. So Jordan's spending less energy to move forward. She's not going as deep. She has less vertical collapse into the ground. There's Laura, 126. Jordan, you can see here at 140. Nine. And then behind them, the eventual winner of the race, Gabby Grunwald at 158 degrees. So she's spending less energy moving forward because she's going up and down less. Imagine yourself doing a full squat versus a quarter squat and then measuring your heart rate. Doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out which one costs more metabolically. And this Shannon Robray comes in at 146 very accomplished. We can change your gait, we can change your structure from the ground up, from the foot up, right up the kinetic chain. We can clearly see some of the structural issues that elite athletes face. So where does that leave the rest of us? 80% of all runners or heel strikers, 80% get hurt. Let's see what we can do to turn things around for you. We're going to do an assessment from the ground up, from the foot up, 20 muscles in that foot, stability, stance, how do you stand? How balanced are you? What is a good stance? What's a poor stance? What's your intrinsic reference point to good and bad stance? How do you distribute your center of mass? It's going to make you more balanced, more stable. Work with stabilizer muscles, proprioceptors. Go from poor stance to good stance. Strengthen your feet. Strengthen the entire kinetic chain. How do you stand? How do you carry your mass? How do you distribute your mass amongst four points? Heel, toe, right, heel, toe, left. We're going to use the Nuraxon pressure platform to assess this and detail this. Here's a sample. Here's basically a pretty good stance. Toes are employed. Surface area is good. This foot would have great shock absorption. More surface area, more power. Stronger foot. Here's kind of a medium foot, barely employing the toes, maybe three toes on each, a little stronger on the right. A lot of movement here, so a person does have real good balance. But they're pretty good, uh, pretty good pressure distribution. And here's the worst. This is our average high school kid. No toes at all. Not even showing up. There's one toe over there on the right. Very low shock absorption. This person would be prone to injuries and minimal power. Once we find out about your structure, your stance, your balance, we will address that. Take you from a short spring to a long spring, a powerful spring. Strengthen those legs, strengthen those feet. Get the right angles. It's easier than you think. Foot exercises, here we go. Keep going one leg and now switch legs. Switch legs, good, good. Good, good. Come at it from a different angle now. It's not as hard as you think. It's actually easy and it's fun. We have great group exercise classes that are fun. We do everything correctly. The right dynamics, the right proprioceptical feel, the right angles. We do glute, glute squats, not quad squats. Strengthen the core. Strengthen the body. Strengthen the lever. Strengthen it from the ground up. Reduce that collapse like you saw at the beginning of the video with one of our top athletes. Take it from 126 to 158. Instead of losing the race, getting injured, you win the race, you stay healthy. It's happier, it's funner. That's it, beautiful. Down and up. No, it's good. Kinesis one. Down. And switch legs. The next thing we're going to do is look at your gait. Whether you're a heel, a real dyed-in-the-wool heel striker, a rear-to-midfoot striker, or a midfoot striker. Here we have good and bad. You can see the massive heel strike. Center mass is back. Foot's way out in the front. 
lot of ground reaction force, a lot of potentially damaging forces. Here we line them, we stack the joints, so to speak, line the center of mass over the gate with the shoulder, the hip, and the ankle. You can see down here, the Neuraxon pressure platform, we got rid of the little heel bump there. There's your heel strike, massive ground reaction forces. That's it, you really soften it up. A little faster cadence. You went from about 160 to close to 200 yeah. steps a minute. Increase your cadence. Improve your neuromotor facilitation, neuromuscular facilitation. The analogy of the light switch, the light bulb, and the wire that connects the two. Getting it all working a little better. Center mass over your stance phase. Gone from rear foot collisions to more of a midfoot stroke. Nice and soft. Went from about 160, 160 steps a minute at this pace to 190 to 200. Exaggerating the step, soften the step, lessen the collision, prove the finesse, the efficiency, lower the metabolic cost. Come out and join us for a free trial. See what it is that we do and get ready for your next race, your next event, or just get ready for the rest of your life. Strengthen your structure, eliminate, prevent injuries, save your joints, have fun, be fit, be healthy, join us.